We're here with Chris from SensePost and he's going to show us how car remote jamming works. So um, if you look at the LCD shield, you see that there's a value um, at the moment. It's sitting between 130 and 133. And here we, we're just calling it a nickname called the samplets. And what it is, it's the general noise on 433 megahertz in this area that we're in. So we have the receiver over here, and I have a remote that is um, transmitting on 433 megahertz. And if I press that button, you'll see that the light goes on, and then the values on the screen have changed. So we were sitting at 130, 133 earlier, and now it's sitting down at 107, 109. If I stop transmitting on that frequency, you'll see it'll spark up again and then go back to around the average noise in the area. So that can tell you if someone within the vicinity is busy jamming and you can try other remotes. As long as it's on that frequency, you can go ahead and you'll see this one is busy transmitting. And then, so these are gate keys and then if you use someone's actual car keys, this will pick it up as well because it's on the same frequency. So if I press that now, you'll see it had a quick spark and it'll drop down eventually. Okay, I'm unlocking my car. I'm busy jamming right now on the frequency. I can't lock my car. I stop jamming. Suddenly I can lock my car again. 